All right, so we're here batch mixing and we added some hydrated lime and Alma oyster spawn. Um, that is a white oyster that's very vigorous. And from here, we can just bag directly out. Um, I did like three bags of spawn. Typically I'll do a bag of spawn every like 50 or 100 pounds of, of substrate. And then this is only supplemented to about 20% soy hull. Typically, actually, I only do like 10% or 15%, but we were running this batch for another batch of reishi, and I said, hey, you know what? Let's throw some uh, spawn in it because we don't need that much reishi. Um, but yeah, this, so this is a chemical pasteurization method. It uses the high yield brand hydrated lime that basically drives the pH way high and makes it to where it's harder for other things to grow. And then you add the spawn, you really need a vigorous, fast-growing oyster mushroom like the Elm Oyster. Um, that makes it to where it'll colonize faster than things will contaminate it. And um, it works, but it doesn't in a sense of it'll work until it won't because it's you're so contaminated still that you're probably going to run into blotch, especially if you run batches back to back. Like you keep putting new batches of blocks that were sterilized, not sterilized, but chemical pasteurized like this. Um, you're way more likely to have blotch issues with, with especially with elm oyster, which is kind of prone to blotch issues. Um, it, it'll often do a thing where like the caps get very small and it matures really early and they are not really sellable. It, and, and at that point you have to like rotate out the crop. So, but yeah, batch spawning saves a ton of time. From here we just bag out, seal the bag or staple the bag or whatever, shut, and then that's it. You don't have to shake the spawn in, you don't have to sterilize it, so yeah. Um, Hope you like the video. We got these batch mixers available, myersmushrooms.com. Take it easy.